Hey guys, Aaron here, Melody behind the camera. Hi. Welcome to House of Haha. Ha. So in this video, I want to talk about the newest member to Camp Chewy, which is this guy right behind me, this tent. We call this Oscar the Trash Tent. The reason, the reason we call it that is because, well, that's what we found, it was in the trash. We were staying in the Sequoia National Forest, or park, excuse me, at the... Uh -huh. Huh? Both. Both of them, yeah. At the uh, Mineral King uh, part of it, at the Cold Springs Campground. And after a night where we got about, what, four or five inches of snow randomly showed up, I went outside, you know, walking around in the trash cans just outside of our, camps, our campsite. I found this shoved just right inside one of the things. The laying on the ground, the rest was shoved inside a can. It had the rain fly, the tent, the poles, basically everything was there. A complete whole perfect little tent that someone had just tossed in the garbage. So I found that and I'm like, we could absolutely end up using this. So it's been really helpful for us because now we have, in addition to our Napier tent and sleeping in the car, we have the satellite tent. So if we're camping someplace where uh, maybe our main campsite's not good enough, you know, gets too much sunshine, we want to go hang out in the shade, we just move this tent, set it up and put it in a shady spot. And since it's so small and easy to set up, we can easily move it around throughout the day. Or like we're doing right here at this campsite where we had, you know, lots and lots and lots of monsoonish rain, uh, we had some flooding in our main tent because of the spot we had it set up in. So we set up Oscar here and have had this separate tent we can set up right underneath this tree where it's probably perfectly dry during the rainy spot. So I'm super grateful to have found this and added it to part of our arsenal and our gear that we have available to us as we camp around the country. So as we started thinking about this, I started us thinking about more about the things we found as we've been going across the country since we started this trip. So we've gathered up a few of those things that Melody and I want to share with you. All right, so the first one is, whoop, that's the, not the right one, this horse brush that we found in the Elder, I'm gonna try to remember I found mostly, but I may not. The El Dorado National Forest or the Drew Barner Campground, um, which is a, uh, an Equestria Trails one. So we found that laying around that someone left on one of their campsites. It's been super helpful for us because now we have a nice way to sweep out our tents. Way better than our old one. Way better than the little whisk room we had. So then a very helpful little addition. Um, we have found lots of toys as we've been traveling around. These we found at this same campsite. Randomly enough, they were just sitting on top of the bear box, just right on top of it. A couple toy cars and a rubber shark. I don't know why I need a rubber shark, but I felt now that I have one, I have a purpose someplace in my life for a rubber shark. So found some of those. In addition to some other toys, we found this one at a dispersed campsite up near Angel Fire in New Mexico. Nice little cars, car that we find laying around. So when I get back home to my nieces and my nephew, I got little toys for them. Mm -hmm. At this campground right here, Kevin. we found Kevin hanging out I in think. a mud puddle outside. And as far as I can tell, he either swims or uh, does something else that a vibrating toy is necessary for him. So we found that little Kevin. At the Rio Grande del Norte campsite at Wild Rivers in New Mexico, um, this is not as random unique as maybe the toys or things. It was just a deer antler. We really haven't come across many of these and been traveling. This one's kind of broken, but I know I thought it was kind of a, a neat little find. Plus, um, last year I learned how to do flint napping when you take uh, obsidian, you know, and you can chip it off and make arrowheads and things like that. And this is one of the tools that is, you know, can be helpful doing that. So, one of those. We've also found probably the most thing we've used out of since our travels, since we started, you know, uh, going around the country, was this little black koozie cooler thingy that goes in our water bottle. Before you just the water bottle itself, it's kind of cold. Plus now we got little handles to carry it around. But this is our main way of drinking water is in this bottle. So this little black, I don't know what you call this. Is it a koozie? Would that be right? Sure. I think it's a koozie. Holder. Yeah. Holder, whatever. We found this just Someone left on a bench at one of the campsites of the campground we'd stayed at. We actually found that bottle. Nobody's claiming it. We found it in our house, but no. Our house. We, we've talked to our previous roommates who looked at us. We're like, hey, you forgot nope. your metal bottle, and they've all denied it. So, thanks. So I'm like, all right, I have a metal bottle, but it's been really helpful. This, is, this little cantina-like thing is how we drink water pretty much every single day since we started our journey. Clothing. Apparently, people who travel around the country and lose their clothing are about the same size as I am because we found a couple pairs of shorts. We found these, and just before we get into the clothing, these all either will be washed or have all been extensively washed before I wore them. 
We found these at the uh, Grand Tetons, walking around the path around the Jenny Lake, I think is that's what it's called, Lake right? Lake Jenny. Lake Jenny. A pair of those shorts. And then here at this campground in uh, the Colorado Rockies at the Alamosa campground, we found a pair of these shorts that looks like it got washed up beside the river, up in some bushes. So these are gonna get washed and I could definitely always use a new pair of shorts. So we got those. Ropes. People are leaving ropes all over the place. We found this, which we believe, our best guess, it's a horse rope. Like the kind of, you click on a horse and take it for a walk or hold it or whatever. Um, we found this in Idaho on a roadside. We actually found that in Wyoming. Was it Wyoming? My yeah. mistake, Wyoming is where we found this. Um, oh, we found a, a dog, we don't have it anymore because one of the things we lost was a dog, big metal dog bowl for like food and water that we had for Grimbo. We found it at a roadside camp sound in Idaho. So I found this rope in Wyoming. Found this rope, which again, I think it's a horse rope. I am not a rope expert, but that's it's a pretty- not, I don't think it's a horse rope, but it's just a rope that just people rope. tied their tarp up with. Maybe that's what it was. It, it's, it's a nice- Looks like a climbing rope maybe. Yeah, it's really sturdy, heavy rope. So we found that just laying on a tree here at this campground at in the Alamosa campground. This is the one I think is the most exciting, I don't know, interesting story is this blanket that we found going through Wyoming. We were in Custer National Park, I believe. So, and that park is known for its amount of buffalo that are things there. When Melody and I were driving through there, it was raining pretty heavily as we're taking the tour through the park. And the cars in front of us, we noticed, were swerving out of the way of something that was laying in the middle of the road. So when Melody and I drove by it, we had to do the same thing. We're like, what is that? We're like, is it a coat? Maybe it's a bag of money. We're always looking for a bag of money on the side of the road because why not, it might happen. So we did, we swung back around, and as we cruised by it, going down the road, Melody opened the door, reached down, and then grabbed this and pulled it back in the car, soaking wet. We realized it was a big blanket. So since then, we referred to this as our buffalo blanket. And during cold times, it's been very, very, very helpful. And we have that. Lastly, <laughs> just a little, I don't know, what'd you call it? Astroturfy grass kind of thing. Doormat? Like, yeah, or... we found this at a, um, a campground in Nevada we were staying at, I think just outside of like 80 miles outside of Las Vegas, that someone had just left sitting like in front of their barbecue area. Now, it maybe looked like just garbage, why would I take it? But it's been helpful when you want to rub your feet off before you go into the tent or the car to keep them scrubbed off. So it's been just something kind of nice to have with this. That wasn't really the last thing. You found two buckets this morning. I found two giant like orange Home Depot buckets, um, like really big, good ones. Uh, we have three buckets we already traveled with. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need five buckets, so I'm gonna figure out the packing on that, because that's the weird thing. Every time we find these random things, we're like, this is great, look at this giant tent. Holy crap, where am I gonna put this? So it's been a, you have to play a lot of Tetris trying to get things into your vehicle. Now on the other end, these are the things we found, but we've also lost some things, correct, Melody? That's true. Not as much as we found. Not as much as we found. We try to keep up with our stuff. <laughs> Before I leave a campground ever since, because we have lost things, I do, and Melody can verify this, I do an extensive little walk around our campsite. I'll pull the car forward, make sure there's nothing under it, so I don't forget anything. We have lost um, a fire, like a metal fireplace poker that we had with us originally, like during the first two weeks, I think, of our trip. We used it for fire. We used it for fire, for poking the fire and things like that. I lost that at, San, I think, San Simeon is where we left that yeah. on the coast in California. We also had a, a metal grate, like a, like a grill grate, you know, that would go, we'd put over the top of any little fire pit we come to that we could use clean and cook our food on if we needed. And we left that, I believe, at a, somewhere at a campsite up in, the, in California. In Oregon. Oh, was it Oregon we left it, yeah. So anyway, um, have, I, have I covered Melly? Have everything we've lost and found? Anything else we've lost? Uh, not good that about I that. know of. So anyway, that these are some of the- fire uh, poker was pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> I was bummed by that, man. I specifically brought that. I was like, I'm not going to use a stick. I'm going to use something on a wrought iron and then leave it for someone else to have. The very next day. Yeah, yeah like seriously. All right, so that's our lost and found video. Um, so far, Chewy the Trash, or Oscar the Trash Tent, our new member of Camp Chewy, I think has been our best find so far. However, I'm still waiting for a bag of gold or money, so we'll see what comes to and us. We're like, we're like, yeah, we're looking for a rucksack. We're looking for new speakers, so if anybody's like trying to lose those. That's my next thing I'm putting out there. Like, I want like a rucksack, like a backpack, like a really good one. I hope I'm going to find someone laying around somewhere. So I'm wondering, like, what is the coolest thing that, like, 
anybody watching has ever found. Because like my brother, yes. for instance, found a hundred dollar bill floating in the ocean. And I think that's about the coolest thing that I've ever heard of anybody just finding randomly. So I'd like okay. to hear I'd like to hear other people's stories of things that they have lost You've or found me. along the way. I Leave mean Leave a comment. Tell us the cool stuff you found at campsites or tell us the saddest things I guess you've lost at a campsite. So um, thanks for checking in. Uh, leave a comment, share all that good stuff. Hope you liked it. Have a reasonable day. Bye. Bye.